Hello, hello, hello. What is up, folks? We are back. This is Shabby Modern Merfolk. I am Millmaster. And we are back rocking Merfolk after a little extended time off here. So, mm -hmm. we are just doing a quick, friendly, modern league just to, I haven't, uh, been doing these videos for about a month now. I've uh, just getting my setup back here. I know I said that that last popper video I posted like two weeks ago. Mm. However, Goblin Electromancer, all right. So it looks like we're up against a little bit of combo here. We're just going to have to try to take them off red. Ugh. We're playing a little bit of a different Merfolk variant here just for the heck of it. It is really dark in here. Um, he did have red. Hmm. Yeah, we may not be long for this world here. So anyway, uh, while we're sitting here getting comboed out, I'm going to talk a little bit about this deck. It's... Yeah, here we go. It's F6 time. Uh, this is... Basically, got phantasmal images as extra cheap lords, and that's kind of about it. Nothing else really particularly special. I'm trying out a ratchet bomb in the sideboard. I've, I've got a Thassa for a little extra card draw. I've got an, an extra spell. I got a spell pierce instead of, I think I was running two or three vapor snags. So, he's thinking very hard. We're really very, very, very behind in this even. Yeah. So he's taking a turn off here, which is fine, because we literally have nothing we can do. He's going to get his Past in Flames, a couple rituals, and I forget what the fourth card they get. It's going to be like two rituals, past in flames, and probably his win condition, maybe. Grape shot. Got his really dark in here. Oh, no, Monomorphose. So, past in flames costs five to flash back. So, we want to put... We just want to take him off card draws the way that is what I would say. All right, so if we get our one spell pierce, no. No, no, no. So I guess we just go Lord. Is it even worth it to play that other Aether Vial? It's really not. Might as well keep a blue open just to make him think we've got something. Any thought scours? Yeah. So, anyway, I thought that I would just do the. Uh... Okay, here he goes. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm guessing this guy's playing in these, this friendly league because he's really not familiar with this deck. He's got eight mana. And then he can just pass and flames us for, what, four? Get all his rituals back and start going off. 
Oh, storm count is up. Here comes all his rituals coming back. He's got a lot of rituals. Do you guys really want to see this again? <laughs> no? All right, that's fine. All right. I, I know you should make him play it out and just F6 or whatever, but... So let's see here. Yeah. Vapor Snag will be okay. I'm gonna say Reedry is a is a cut. Phantasmal is just pretty fast. Harbinger could be cut. It's very rare that they attack with their their guys to dispel is very good. Unified will can work. Oh yeah, Relic, of course. So we still need one more cut, maybe. Oh yeah, Spreading Seas is never good. We don't need Spreading Seas. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we put back in? I guess we just go, oops, I guess we just go with our Lords. And we will try that. There is some argument for Ratchet Bomb, but I'm going to say the argument is no good. Uh, maybe there's argument for Kira, because they're going to be bolting us. <sighs> there is zero interaction. But we do have a couple of live draws to get a counter spell. This isn't... A mediocre hand, but it does have lands. I don't know how aggressively I want a mulligan in this matchup. Maybe somebody who's played Merfolk versus Storm quite a lot could uh, comment about if aggressive mulliganing is the way to go. He's thinking, okay, so he's he went down to six and kept... So I think what we need is yeah, Faithless Looting. Interesting. That's a good card. Okay, so that we have some interaction. We'd like maybe a Counterspell or a Relic here. That is not what we wanted. So would be nice for him to cast his dude. Yeah. Uh. Okay, 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 here we go. <laughs> I wonder if we try to like trick him. <laughs> Sometimes you know you can get him to cast a ritual expecting that they're going to have a reduced mana cost for something else. Like, you know, they cast a ritual for one red and then he does. Well, no, I guess he still would have enough. <laughs> I don't think that they can go off with three lands and no dude, but can they go off with one land? I guess they can because with Monomorphos, but he only has four cards. So I think I'm going to take a risk here. Or do we want Aether Vial? Aether Vial is just so far away. This puts more pressure on him. Vapor snag this. So again, the question is, can they, they can win from this position, but it's probably 
a lot harder. They need, well, he's going to try, or maybe he's got another, like, desperate ravings or something. They need, like, ritual, ritual, monomorphos. Uh, his hand needs to be two rituals. Okay. I was going to say, his hand needs to be monomorphos, uh, at least one ritual. And then uh, gifts ungiven. So he's just thought scouring. So that's probably okay. Unless he can get a second monomorphos into ritual. So now he's thinking a little harder. If we get another turn, we just have to play our land Aether, or play our land in Aether Vial. Would be... Ah, uh, empty the Warrens, okay. Well, that's fine. That is fine. Can he get us here? 10? No, I think we can get him here. Because what we have is Phantasmal Image. And we want to copy this. And Aether Vial. So he needs to be able to like value grape shot us in addition to hitting us for nine. Ooh, what is he doing? Oh, that's a sorcery. Darn it. And what does he do? Ritual? Let me counter that. So I think we got him. We did get him. God. Okay, now the argument for Ratchet Bomb becomes stronger. My, my arguments, because now we can just ratchet, hold up Ratchet Bomb. Maybe we take out Thassa, God of the Sea. For a Ratchet Bomb. We are on 19 lands. These Master of Waves just... We had a Master of Waves in our hand. We were just so far away from it. We could rotate in another land. Say for a Master of Waves. Just to... <laughs> I wonder if we really need Kira. He's going to have bolts, but they're going to be early. We'll never get to Akira, really. Let's just take out Kira. Though sometimes what they will do is they'll value Grape Shot your whole board away. Yeah, see this bullshit. We can't keep that. Uh, I think we can keep that. I think we can keep that. Might be over pretty quick, but if we can... Yeah. Yep. All he's got to do is drop his dude. And there he is. Yeah, we are dead. six this one because obviously I'm not going to just concede and let him have a free win but he's going to be getting, getting a lot of mana this is where having dismember is nice over well, that's interesting what is this going to be okay he's just got a bunch of dudes Huh. Okay. 
Can we get a land? We can. Uh, let's get a silver gill, silver gill here. Okay. I, d I don't think I'm supposed to do ratchet bomb. It's that's so far away. Yeah, he's he's on this plan. So we are get, we got to keep this creature count low just because we have this unified will in our hand. Okay. Hmm. Ay, 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 ay. Does it have to be Silver Gill Adept? It doesn't have to be. I guess it can just be Lord of Atlantis. And then he probably won't attack here if he's smart. Or he may be. Oh, crap. Wow, he has like all his creatures. If he comes in right here, and he's sort of costed into it, I think we'll go for a Silver Gill Adept. Another Aether Vial. This is an obvious no. Uh, what we can do is we can tap our Muta Vault and vial something in to get to four creatures to make Unified Will live, and he's just really stuck. So I think we're going to do that. We do want to hit him, though. Monomorphos, it's fine. More land, it's good for us. What we don't want to see is like past in flames. Another creature would be really bad too. <laughs> I think I'm just going to take it. And here comes the Lord. Can we win this turn? Oof. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're one away. Now, if he has a bolt, oh wait, no, a bolt doesn't beat us because of Master of the Pearl Trident. So, he has to have double bolt. Oh, we got there. Woo. Well, that was certainly a crazy match. He had three Goblin Electromancers, Barl, five lands, three Monomorphos. Jeez. I bet you he had another bar Baral in his hand, at least. Ah, oh, God. Oh, uh, well. The Ratchet Bomb never really became a thing. Uh, so that was round one. I don't know if I'm going to just immediately record again, and I might take a break here. But I will see y'all in round two for a... I guess this is 
what are we going to call this? Mono, blue, uh, how many lords are in here? Uh, 15 lord? <laughs> 15 lord? Uh, anyway, this has been Millmaster for Shabby Merfolk. Uh, welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back.